Good morning, party people. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendants. I'm here doing morning coffee club. Oh, you guys. Hi. I see people are watching. This, this light makes my hair look really bad. <laughs> Let's just do something about that. Uh, okay. So, I have a couple of things that I just wanted to talk to you about. I'm getting this the comments loaded up on here. Oh, I have to watch a... No. Like Excel are raising their rate? Get quiet. But you can stop it. <laughs> Try to get my computer to pay attention. Hi, Rosanna. Hi. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about, um, I, I am going to talk about this little package that I got in the mail. Um, and I have a really cool idea for this. So we are going to talk about that. I am going to like try to flip you guys over so you can see down. I don't know if that's going to work because I still don't have my new live business going on or whatever. <clears throat> but I'm going to try it. So, but in the interim, I just wanted to give you a little update on me. I know you're probably sick of hearing about me. But I went and had um, my carotid artery um, ultrasound yesterday. And, um, so basically they said that, um, my, the reason I've been having these, like this, these symptoms is there, it's basically like a, it's called a TIA and it's basically like a mini stroke. And the reason that that's happening is because I, my carotid arteries on both sides are 69% blocked. And they said it's really weird because normally that is something that they see in like seven year old men who like ate cheeseburgers their whole life. And it's very uncommon for a, I'm 35, for a 35 year old woman to have this. And so they want me to go to the specialist at um, the Minnesota Heart Institute in Minneapolis. And I have to go there and see the vascular specialist so I said to the doctor oh geez I know right Rosanna so I said to the doctor yesterday when he called he like immediately put me on some medication my um cholesterol is not high um it's like two points over average and he's like it's weird because you don't have high cholesterol and you don't have high blood pressure he's like so we don't really know so you have to go see this specialist why it's being like that and I said okay and um so I'm taking the baby aspirin and I'm taking the low cholesterol medicine they gave me and I'm I'm doing I'm you know have to change the dietary stuff not like I eat a lot of like horrible food anyway um we get hello fresh so I just <laughs> I just switched it to low calorie <laughs> um but uh yeah so it's kind of scary and um, we're whatever. So I called my grandma and I um, was talking to her this morning. And my grandma said that she said that her dad, which would be my great grandpa, he had the same thing. He had his first heart attack when he was 36. And he had four heart attacks and two strokes. And then he died of leukemia. So um, she said that they had the same issue. Of course, this was back in the day, you know, that they because they couldn't figure out why the, the carotid arteries. So your carotid arteries are here on each side and they're supposed to bring oxygenated blood, you know, oxygen filled blood to your brain. And when those are blocked, then that's why I was like getting dizzy and I couldn't see and it was like blurry or whatever. Um, so that's what they've told me thus far. So now I gotta go into that guy. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. And I also um, had some blood work, and I'm not diabetic, and I do not have high cholesterol. Basically, all my blood work was really good, they said. So, anyways, that's the update. <sighs> One day at a time. One day at a time over here. Hi. 
Are you guys talking to me? <laughs> what is that? I have hair in my coffee. Okay. So, I'm going to um, show you guys this little thing. I got this in the mail. I got my package from Jesse James. So, this is something that has been on the site for a long time. I think it was even on there last year. It's called, uh, what's it called? BD Bundle in Early Spring. So, it's like a bundle. But, check this out. I'm going to move you guys over here and I'm going to try to flip you down to see if that'll work. Let me see. Hold tight, hold tight. Well, let me this way. I mean, that's okay. Okay, so in this bundle comes this little package. It has like a little insert. It's got some seed beads, some bugle beads, um, a mix, and then these two little um, bubble beads. So let me show you my plan for this. So I ordered this specifically. How are you feeling? I feel okay, Carrie. I mean, I feel okay. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I, sometimes I feel bad in the afternoon, like when I'm doing stuff. Like if I'm doing some stuff and I get doing too much, then sometimes I feel bad. So, um, but I mean, for the most part, I feel okay. The reason I ordered this kit is because it came with these two. It has bugle beads, and then it's got some size 11 Toho seed beads. This light maybe needs to be turned down. Let me see. Or something. Oh, that's not good. Let's just dim it up a little bit. There we go. Um, so here's my plan. This is going to be, um, not something I do on a live or anything because, um, I'm going to have to pre-record this. So, but this is going to be one of my first YouTube videos. Yeah. And stress, Rosanna. I'm trying to, that's why I haven't been doing too much, you know. I took, uh, I didn't do any live videos on Facebook yesterday. I probably won't do any live videos until, um, bingo. Um, and I, so I've just been kind of doing stuff. Not 100%. I have low blood sugar and the fluorescents make me feel bad. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I got to go to the specialist. We'll see what he says. So here's my thoughts, y'all. Here's my thoughts. If we get this kit, we have all the makings to make these earrings here. In this little graph. So this is going to be one of my first videos um, in making a Native American earring. And I, thought, and I thought it would work great with this Jesse James kit because you got everything you need. Now, some of you probably have this stuff already. Um, but I'm going to maybe start out with this little one. Here's what they will look like when they're done. I hope you can see that. They're just little. But for starting out, um, that would probably be nice for beginners. And I haven't made these in a long time either, so practice up. This is a more advanced, but still it's basically the same thing, just bigger. Um, but it's kind of cool because this book has different... Um, this book has different um, designs. And so maybe I'll look at those and see if there's one we could do with those. But I really like that um, it has these. So if you're looking for this book, you can purchase this book if you are interested. It has all the different designs. And in the beginning of the book, it, uh, see it tells you the colors. And, you know, you could change those up, but like this one has flowers on the top and the different um, V dangles and different things like that. Uh, this book you can purchase on Crazy Crow Trading Post. 
This is Techniques of Beaded Earrings. It's $12.95 if you're interested. That is crazy, crazycrowtradingpost.com. That's where I get this. There's also a second edition. I will probably get that one later on. But anyways, I thought with these two from this kit, that would be great. So we could get ourselves a nice pair of um, beaded earrings. And then it also comes with this little, uh, this little like kind of easy peasy kit in this bundle. It comes with like a little um, like make your own pendant kit in yellow, I think. Yeah. Comes with all the parts and pieces. I was thinking about doing fine earrings today. Nice. Yeah, see what you can come up with. I've been make I made quite a few pairs of earrings since I've been, you know, kind of taking it easy. I've been sitting up here just making earrings. This is what this pendant is supposed to look like. So I thought, okay, you would have your your cool seed bead earrings, your native seed bead earrings. You would have a little pendant to go with it. And then you still have in the bundle this kit which I haven't quite got a whole plan for that yet like that might have to be a whole nother project because there's quite a few beads in there and then the boho beads so I haven't really got that straightened out yet but um I thought it would be fun to do a video doing some easy like um beaded earrings like see beaded earrings so that's why I got that so that'll be one of my one of my first doings. And then oh, what did I do with it? Um hold on one second, I wanted to show you something. <clears throat> so The first day that I was um, kind of sick and not doing anything, I got in my book and I did a little bit of stuff. Fringe. <laughs> fringe earrings, yeah. I haven't made fringe earrings in a long time. I really just, um, sometimes I just have to be in the mood, you know. Beaded fringe and hang it from the boho to match the earrings. That's true. That's a good idea. I got my, um, I know you guys have seen this before. This was the feather necklace. I got it in here. Got my photos printed and, and put them, put them in here. I actually sold this necklace over the weekend. So that was cool. It's going to go to North Dakota. Hey, Catherine. So I got that in there. And I just deck up my little book. Um, this is one that I made. I haven't got that one on the site yet. But I used this really cool bale from Art Beads. Um, a pinch bale. And it worked really nice on the fossils. So I had, I think I maybe they sold out. I thought I had some of those fossils on my website. The ammonite, ammonite um, shells, fossil shells. Um, but they are top drilled, and so I found that if you use a, a cool pinch bale, it's not focusing very good. A cool pinch bale like that, it works works out pretty good. Oh, maybe that's a better, better, um, trying to, yeah, maybe that's better. But anyway, um, so I just got some of my... Pages put in here. Here are some that are new. Um, there's more of the ammonite. I've been using the ammonite a lot recently. So, put that in there. And then here's another cool page that I just recently did. I have this book. It's called um, Talismans and Amulets. And um, this is a sticker that came from Yes Style in those sticker packs that I sell on my website. And I just put that in the middle and I kind of wrote around it. And I just put what it said in the book about what the difference is between a talisman and an amulet, which I thought looked pretty cool. Um, 
So I did that. I just finished a necklace last night with an ammonite. Wonderful. I really like ammonites. I like them a lot. And I think that's... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Um, so you guys might have seen... I, put, I finally put this video up. I put this up... Was that yesterday? This video with the three strands um, from the Bargain Bead Box. So that video got put up yesterday. So I put him in there. Here's our design that we sketched out on Coffee Club. And then here's what it looked like in the end. So that's kind of my idea for those when I do them. So glad to hear that your levels are good. That's a plus. Hi, Donna. Good morning. That one was gorgeous. This one? Yeah, I really liked how this one um, turned out. Um, actually, I really like that one a lot. This was the first one that we made. And I think the picture's on the other side. Yeah. And I showed that in the video because some people said that, you know, I did it on live and it was kind of not clear. I actually like the other one better than I like this this one. And then this is the next one up on Bargain Beadbox with the stars and the, uh, what were they? Adventuring pendants. The three adventuring pendants and maybe some charms and the English cut beads. So that's the next one that I'll be doing um, for that. I better hurry up because I'm pretty sure that Bargain Bee Box will be coming around again here pretty soon. <laughs> you guys. Uh, so that's kind of the end. I just was um, putting stuff in here. Uh, Mr. Bunsen dropped my book off the table and busted the binding out. So I had to tape that back together yesterday. So that's what I got going on there with that. Good morning, everyone. I didn't realize that y'all were still on here. Oh yeah, we're on here, Donna. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip back the right way. Try to. I'm getting a little better with my camera. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Now I gotta back up because I moved it. Just when you say something, you know. <laughs> um, I have found that I like like tearing out little pieces of paper from like other journals and stuff and making designs on these because then I can tape them. I can make them like a smaller and I can tape them inside my journal, which I really like. Green adventuring. I just got noticed that mine was paid. Oh, your box? Yeah, I bet you it's coming. The kits come like a week later. Yeah, I bet you it's coming. Um, that's why I said, oh, I better. But you know, honestly, this last box from Burgundy Box, um, we made what? Those two necklaces, we got one more planned. And other than that, I think there might be like a few little items left, like not a lot. I felt like that one was more charm heavy and it didn't have as many beads. Hi, Tony. Hey girl, I'm, I'm shipping, I'm shipping your stuff out today. My time is 11.02 AM and you guys are live now. Yep, we are live, Donna. It's, um, I think I went live at 9.30 today. I've been trying to go, if I am going to go live, I've been trying to go live between um, like 9.30 and 10 or yeah, pretty much 9.30 and 10. I've just been doing, trying to be consistent with the coffee club because I have not been consistent with the Facebook because of all the medical stuff that's going on. So um, in the morning, I'm usually just sitting here anyways, making my plans and got all my bead mess out over here. So I thought, why not bring you guys along for the ride? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to try to be consistent with Coffee Club. Now that I kind of got a better setup, it's it works out pretty good. So, um, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the Bargain Bead Box. The Bargain Bead Box uh, was more charm heavy this time. And there was not as many beads. And I felt like that kind of... I mean, they said chain. I wish there would have been a, like maybe one more strand beads because even that last project that we're going to do with the pendants and the English, well, that I'm going to do, um, the English cut, it's going to be a little like, it's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like there, there could have been a little more there. I don't, but I mean, I like the box and I'm excited to do it. I think I made a necklace, bracelet, and three pairs of earrings with the last bargain bead box. I have one I haven't done a thing with. You still have a, a box you haven't done anything with, Rosanna? Which one is it? What color is it? I had a 
lot of, I actually have some sitting here. This is some, I, I brought this up here to make earrings with. Um, it's mixed in, but it was a lot of the pink rose quartz and stuff from the pink box. I had a lot left over from that. I must have been busy that time. The purple and the red one. Uh, I actually use almost all of the purple and red. I had a couple of videos up. That's when I was very first starting to do videos with Bargain Bee Box. And I, I made a couple of necklaces. Um, some of the videos, I think, though, I had to split up into, like, part one and part two because they were so long. Because I was not very good at editing yet. Still not great at editing. <laughs> that one was December. Yeah, I think it was. I have some of the blue box. I don't know if that was December or November, but I have some of the blue box left. Um, but I really, I just was like, well, I'm not going to get too wrapped up in trying to like make projects out of the old boxes. I'm just going to kind of incorporate them into my beads for now. And then, um, but in the future as we move forward, I'm going to try to be better about making specific projects with them. And the gray one. Only made one pair of earrings. <laughs> I got my order from Michael's uh, yesterday. I had ordered three of those boxes. I have one up here. Of these, uh, of these guys. So these are just photo boxes. And then inside the box, they each have 16 compartments. And I ordered three of these and so I like to use them for uh, organizing like if you have December bargain bead box stuff left and you have a project in mind and then I can just put all that in this little box the beads and the whatever and then I can stick it in here and then this can be my like leftover bargain bead box ideas you know or you know maybe it's all of your all of your ideas that you just were like half ideas but you don't have time to get them together you know yeah that's what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna have one for bargain bee box and one um one for maybe for jesse james and then the other one that i got i'm organizing my wire like my all my silver wire all my gold wire into one little container um I do that anyways. I wish there was more beads in this month's box. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I could have done with one more strand, but um, I do that anyways. I organize my wire in those boxes, uh, but I have a video table where I do the lives and stuff like that, and like where I do YouTube, like actual YouTube videos, and I just have my. <laughs> string and stuff like all my string and wire and whatever because I have to have like double of everything so I don't have to be running back and forth because that's annoying on a video um but it's just in a big bowl so I was like well I'll just get a case for over there so I'll have a case for that table and I'll have a case for my actual beading table and then I'll have a case for like project ideas so that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna do that uh I'm gonna edit my video that goes up today. It would normally already be up today, but I am behind <laughs> or whatever. It's not up yet. Um, so that one is a Jesse James bead one um, using leather and like a strand that had a lot of wide hole beads on it. Um, it's actually a pretty cool pendant. I really like the way the pendant turned out, but it's kind of out there. Some people might not like it, but I like it. So I'm going to edit that. And then um, all of the orders and everything are going out today. The postman's coming to pick them up uh, this morning. So everything is going to be, all the orders and everything are going to go out. And then I'm going to edit that video. And I'm going to, I got this whole bag of stuff that I got to make, I'm going to make designs for and kind of figure out my videos. And that's what I'm doing. Um, in other news, my friend, uh, come here, Mr. Bunsen. What are you doing? Mr. Bunsen's biting my foot. <laughs> yeah, he's just, quit that. Come here. You guys, Mr. Bunsen just turned into a cat. Look. Look at him. Look how 
big he is. He's just got a big old belly and everything. He just turned into a cat all of a sudden. Like yesterday, I looked down and he was a cat. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um... But I, I have, uh, in other news, I, I talked to my friend Crystal, and um, she's going to come over and probably help me with some Thunder Horse Descendant stuff while I'm doctoring. And um, so that's good. So I'm getting some help, and Amber reached out, and she's she said that she would uh, help me if I need to do bead runs to the store. Because um, until they find out really what's going on, I'm... I don't know. My doctor said it would be really bad if I if I did um, get COVID. So I don't know. I'm kind of just working on stuff like that. Oh, stage just says hi, Mr. Bunsen. But in Minnesota, they said everybody can um, maybe get vaccinated by May. So I don't know. But I gotta go talk to that specialist guy and see what he says about it. Yeah, Mr. Bunsen just turned into a cat. And then he's also uh, in this new thing where he likes to just jump on top of everything a lot. And he's really naughty. So that's what we're doing. And he's and, and he started eating his dad's bonsai plants. So what are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> he wants to sit up here, but not really. <laughs> Oh gosh, yes, it would be bad. Yeah. So, uh, but Amber said that she's she would be willing to come over and do the, the bead swap, which works out pretty good because Amber works at the bead store and Wednesdays she's off from work. So um, I might call her today, see what she's doing. I'm going to get some things from your shop when I get my stimulus check. Wonderful. <laughs> Wants to be on your notebook. I know. He's very much in disarray because I have my whole table covered with, like, beads. And he, he knows he can't be up here when there's beads. And he gets very upset about it. So he's been laying under the table, just meowing in disapproval. <sighs> but, yeah. So, for the most part, I've been feeling okay. Uh, I didn't have any headaches or anything yesterday. Um... And I've just been like napping in the middle of the afternoon, but I'll tell you what, I took that medicine they gave me yesterday and my doctor said, it'll make you feel like you got hit by a truck. Yeah, it did. He said only, you only take it at nighttime because it's, it's it gives you like all over body aches and like not, it's not great. So that was just the first time, maybe I'll get used to it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on over here today. Uh, today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. So I'm going to get that video out. And I'm kind of just not doing too much because I don't want to do, do too much and then get stressed out or whatever. Um, but I'm, I, I am talking with my friends and getting people to come and help me. So um, there's a lot of people who are willing to do that. So that's wonderful. And we appreciate those people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will definitely be on live on Facebook for the Monday bingo. Um, I talked to Sarah James this morning and she said uh, she, if I didn't want to do the Facebook live for Jesse James this Friday, I didn't have to. But I think that that'll be fine. You guys want to see the beads I'm going to use? I think they're new. I don't know if I should show them. I've never seen them before. Maybe they're not new. Oh no, Mr. Bunsen broke the book. You know it. Check these out. These are the ones I'm gonna try to use on Friday. Um, they're all yellow and gunmetal. And they don't have a sticker or name yet. Probably because they're maybe not on the website yet. I don't know. But I really like them for spring. They're kind of neon. And there's some, some gunmetal uh, cage beads in there. And um, some sparkly star beads and stuff. And so, uh, I really like yellow. 
that's that's one of my colors i'm really excited about it so i'm gonna try to make something with this on the live it might have to be a design on the fly i don't know <laughs> bright yellow <laughs> Tiredness is because you are not getting enough oxygen to your brain. Yeah, well, that makes sense. It does make sense. <laughs> you guys, so here's my thing. Sarah said they would send me something from the new release. But I haven't gotten them yet. I just got mine yesterday. Rosanna. Um, yeah, the tiredness uh, probably is from that. So it's really strange. So it's, like I said, I was talking to my grandma. My great grandpa, he had this, they said that he had the same stuff. Like, um, he uh, had his first heart attack when he was 36. And prior to that, he didn't know there was any issues, you know. Just like I didn't know there were any issues. And um, then they couldn't figure it out because he, like me, did not have any high blood pressure, no high cholesterol, blood work is fine, not diabetic. Like literally what happened is I went to the doctor, I thought I had COVID and I went in there to talk to him and he, he said, okay, well, I'm going to listen to your heart. So he starts listening to my heart and then pretty soon he's like going up and he's listening and it was like really weird because he was like listening for a long time. And you know, when someone's in your face, it's weird when they're in your face for a long time. And then he's like, listen on my neck and he's over here, like underneath my jawbone listening. And then he's going to the other side. And I've never had anybody do that. I was like, okay, what's going on here, man? And he was like, there's something here that shouldn't be here. He found it with a stethoscope. I was like, okay, mister, I've been a doctor for 30 years. I believe you. I hope all of your tests turn out good. Yeah. I hope that they turn out good, too. So, um, but yeah, so then they ran all these blood tests and they were all fine, you know? So it's like, well, how was that a thing? And then he's like, well, we're going to do an ultrasound on your neck. So did that. And then that's when they saw that it was blocked up and stuff. And he said, normally, uh, those arteries get blocked by people who, you know, it's like people of high cholesterol, um, people who eat a lot of like greasy foods and you know for like years i mean this isn't something that just happens like overnight it's like people ate horrible food for like 60 years and you know stuff like that and um he's like it's really weird that you're this age and that this is happening and that's why we have to go to the specialist so i was like oh okay because i don't i don't eat really horribly and you know Jeff was like, you always eat better than me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, um, anyways, we shall see what he says. But I did tell the doctor, I said, you know, it's interesting that I would have a heart problem. And he said, you don't have a heart problem. You have a circulatory problem. So the blood is not, because of the veins, it's not getting oxygen where it should be. Just because of the circulatory stuff so when i go to this specialist they're probably going to do one of those tests i can't remember the name of it where they run that uh the test for in your leg and they go inside in your leg into your femoral artery and then go up to your heart and into your carotid artery so they'll probably do that have they said what they are going to do about the blockage it well the blockage okay is um, 69% blocked, the, the carotid artery is 69% blocked, and that is only considered moderate in a 70-year-old man. In a 35-year-old woman, that is a high-risk situation, they said, and so when they send me to the vascular specialist, he'll tell me if they have to do surgery on it to clear it out. That's what he's going to be looking for to see if they want to go into the vein and clear the vein out through a surgical procedure. Catheriz catheriz cather catheterization, yeah. How much they cost? How much do they cost? It's a lot of money. Um, 
I don't know all the entirety on that right now, but it's a lot of money. I know um, for 30 days of the pills, it's $600. I actually would assume they will need to do so. Yeah, I'm kind of not sure about that, Rosanna. I mean, if they do, they do. You know, like if they want to clear it out, okay. You know, um, I'm not thrilled about that because who would be? But hopefully, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. Is it on both sides? Yeah, it's on both sides, which is another anomaly, they say. So you have what they call, what is it called? Advent grade, I think it is, where your blood flows towards your brain and the flow of how your blood flows is what they told me. So on one side, there is a, uh, on this side, there's a significant um, flow problem and towards the brain. And then on the other side, the flow is okay, but they're still blocked. So when I went to have the uh, <laughs> when I went to have the test, and they put the you know the thing on your neck, and they they have noise, and when she turned it on, it sounded like a whale. It was going oh, and it's not supposed to sound like that because the blood is trying to rush through this little tiny place because it's clogged up. So I guess it's not supposed to sound like a whale. <laughs> Whales are now my new spirit animal. <laughs> I just thought of Dory. I was like, oh, I wish I spoke whale. Maybe you'll have small veins and have large veins in your legs. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, they said it's, it's a problem because it's on both sides. And it's a problem because it shouldn't be like that for how old I am. So uh, he put me on baby aspirin. He put me on this low cholesterol medication. Um, and I got to change my diet and I got to do some other, you know, stuff. But for the most part, I just have to wait till this guy, till I go see this specialist guy. So that's what's going on with that. So in the interim, I've just been kind of taking it easy with Thunder Horse. But I'm hoping by next week... Um, I'm going to be able to get my, my talk with my friends and see what that, you know, what they're able to help with and, um, so we can keep the trains kind of running on time. You know, when do you see the specialist? Uh, the doctor called me yesterday and he said he has to call over to the specialist in Minneapolis at the Heart Institute and he has to make arrangements with him and then he will call me to let me know when I can go. He said he, the specialist might travel out here, but m most likely not. So I should um, be prepared to go in whenever he says. There's a very slow lag on here. You don't see what has been typed until about five minutes later. Yeah, the, the comments come up on my screen and then I also have my laptop so I can, if I miss them when they go by, then I can reread them. <clears throat> there's a little lag it's kind of like the Facebook lag I think Jeff's still working on getting that's why I haven't been doing like live beating on here Donna because I did live beating one time and it was the quality was not very good on the video and um, also because of like zooming and things so uh, Jeff has been diligently working on learning this new program it's like a completely new program we might have to get a new laptop or something and um and then it is just for live videos it's what the streamers use mr bunsen got cat hair on me it's what the like video streamers use the video gamers where they they show what they're playing on the video game so it's supposed to be really fast and it's supposed to be really accurate and um, you do have to pay for it <clears throat> and then it's kind of like a coding situation, which I don't know anything about. So Jeff's learning that. The lag goes with your internet. Some people's internet is slower than others. I believe that. I think it's also true, it, like if you're on Wi-Fi versus if you're using like, if you're on your phone and you're using data, that's always an issue as well. 
Um, but another thing that Jeff learned in this program he's trying to learn is on your YouTube, and I'm not going to swear to this, but he said on everybody's YouTube, if you go to the settings in your YouTube, there's like, you can, you can watch things in HD. You can change the settings of how you're watching things based on how they look better on your device. So you could have like, watch it in HD. You could watch it in 720 or 240 or something. I think that's pixels. So maybe look in that in there. If it's not clearer too, um, it's in those three little dots in the corner. I can see them on my phone, they're down here. And if you push that, then it'll give you some options for how you'd like to view. And I guess you would just pick whichever looks better for you. I'm still praying for you. Big hug. Oh, thank you. Mine is coming up as 480, Rosanna says. Why can't I see other people's comments? I don't know. Uh, Stacia, are you in YouTube or are you watching through Facebook? So I share it on Facebook and you could just like be watching your phone and see it. But if you click in, like if you click in to Thunder Horse on your YouTube, on your YouTube app, then you should be able to see comments and make comments. I mean, you're making comments, so maybe you're in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys, we're just all learning together. That's what we're doing. You Some of us are here. Some of us are still trying to learn. I don't know. I I leave a lot of that up to Jeff. He, I didn't know either that you could pick how to watch things. I didn't know that. He just told me that the other day. So. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Oh, Tony says she has to go to YouTube and to, to chit chat. Yeah. So some people have YouTube on it as an app on their phone. And then if you're, if you're watching on the computer, that's a, you, if you're watching on the computer, I don't know if I can show you this. Maybe I can. Let me try. If you watch on the computer, this is us live watching ourselves on the computer. <laughs> but anyway, uh, your chats are all over here. So if you're on your computer, they're on the side in YouTube. And it's still, it's still the live. So um, that, if I was to watch a chat, that's how I would do it. I think if it was on the phone, then I would have to like click off the screen to click chats. I think that it would probably just be easier to do on a, on a desktop. Take care of yourself, prayers and hugs. Yes, thank you, Fran. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I got going on today, guys. I will be around. I'm gonna be on the Jesse James Live Facebook on Friday, um, but I will not be doing Facebook Live for Thunder Horse um, until bingo night on Tuesday. So I uh, just want to let you guys know, I'll probably be back here tomorrow to chat about other stuff. I don't know if I'm going to learn anything between now and then, maybe. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and thanks for checking in with me and I will see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.